in across 80 countries. So what what we are trying to say here is. Okay, so uh, coming to India opportunity, so we have seen this global number, but what we say uh, there is a huge, huge opportunity in India to use WhatsApp in many different ways. One example which I take from this slide is there are going to be 24 billion e-commerce transactions by 2026 and now these transactions and payments are actually possible on WhatsApp. People are already talking to the businesses and they want to convert but now it's also possible and these almost half a billion people who are already there on WhatsApp they can actually be your customers. Most of them you can target through WhatsApp and there and today I'm going to talk about what are some of those features, what are some of those platforms which we provide through which you can actually convert these users to your end customers. What we have actually seen in our day to day life, the businesses have already found different ways to connect to their users and this is like a chart which shows when you morning in the morning you wake up and you get ready for your office and you want to book a cab, you can book it on WhatsApp. If there are any policies, insurances or banking facilities which you want to avail, it's there on WhatsApp. If you want to book a doctor's appointment, it's there on WhatsApp. So you can think about any of the use cases and all those use cases are possible on WhatsApp. So now that we know that there are so many opportunities and the market size is big. What actually is this ecosystem? This ecosystem comprises of three things. The first thing is the consumer app where you and me talk to each other or talk to our friends, relatives. That's the consumer app. The second is the SMB app, small medium business app, which is present free for any business who is starting today. They should definitely go ahead and download this app and start using it to interact with their users. There are certain features which are actually possible, which makes it very, very friendly for a new business to start using it and expand their business. But now expansion and scale is very different for every business. For a mom and pop store, opening a new branch itself is an expansion. So you don't need to be a flip card of the world to say that I'm scaling. So expansion means very different for everyone. So if you feel that you are in a stage where you are scaling, that's when the business platform comes into picture. This business platforms enables you to talk to your consumers at scale. So there are many functionalities, many APIs and features, which actually enables you to talk and build these beautiful solutions, which we talked about across the clock to give it to your consumers. With the help of this, you can actually connect to the enterprise stack which is available. For example, if you have a CRM, if you have a knowledge base, if you have an inventory system, you can connect with all those enterprise stack using the WhatsApp business platform and give a very, very rich experience to your consumers or users so that they don't have to leave WhatsApp. And we all know that we all open WhatsApp every day and not just once, many times. So it's for a user, if you give that whole journey, there is, there is a possibility that you get higher conversions and less churn because you're not sending them to any other app, you're not sending them to any other website. So it's a very, very powerful tool for you to use. Now such platform which exists, it, there is a BSP or a tech provider in the ecosystem who can help you connect with it. So there is WhatsApp business platform and your business. In between, there is a BSP, which is a business service provider or a tech provider. These are the listed providers from Meta's end who enable this ecosystem and who build these solutions across. 
they have this tech know-how, they have this capacity and resources to build these solutions for you. So if you want to find those, you just go to the partner directory and find some of our DSPs and tech providers. Now coming to why business platform and what are some of the features which makes it so special. So there are different formats, uh, just like if you just send me a text, it's boring, it's verbose, I don't want to interact with the brand. And I literally get so many of them. You all must have your family groups where there are forwarded messages. So those are very big and boring messages. But on this platform, you can interact in a very, very different way. For example, in this image, which is first image format, McDonald's is trying to reach out to their customers who have never downloaded their app and tell them that, hey, there is a very interesting combo which exists. Scan this QR code, download our app and order it. The second one is the video. In this, uh, the CS Mutual, whenever somebody downloads their app, they want to buy something or they want to buy a fintech solution from them. It's difficult for everyone to understand. So what they did is they sent the video that, hey, this is for your knowledge. This is how you can use our platform. And these are some of the resources which you can use to invest or utilize. Then there is an audio. So just imagine what happens if Michael Jordan himself sends you an audio and says, hey, this is how Puma shoes are. This is the USP of a shoe. Or for you, these might be the best variants. And then there are documents. If there are invoicing, if you want insurance company, then you want to download some insurance documents. If you're providing certain policies, you want to do download the policy documents. All those documents you can share on WhatsApp. Then last but not the least is brand awareness. So suppose you are an OTT platform or you are a platform which strives for brand awareness. You can make your own stickers and share those stickers uh, on WhatsApp. We don't end at that. There are different formats, but now there are different form buttons and templates as well to make it very interactive. So there are list messages, reply buttons, or call to action buttons. I always say that don't give me if you have to type one, two, three, if you want to do A, B, C things. But instead, if you give me an option to just tap or write, just pull that button, that is easier for me than typing. So that's why we have those quick action buttons. You have multi-product messages and product catalogs. This actually enables a lot of commerce use cases. I can think of as a brand my 10 most fast-moving items or products. I share that as a catalog, as a product catalog to my, to my user, bring them, make them our customer, and then start sending them more messages for other products which you have. So these catalog, pro product catalogs or multi-product messages enables a lot of commerce opportunities and use cases. So just elaboration of how it could work. So first, first is the text message, where press 1, press 2, press 3, press 4, and press 7. And then on the other hand, you have list messages or reply buttons, which are so neat and clean in terms of a flow and easy to understand and actually start the communication with the brand or a business. You have menu and product details. It's a way in which you can upload your menu, give all information about what is the price, what are the SKUs available, and every detail which a customer needs to see when they are adding it to their product uh, catalog or cart. So, so shopping experience becomes very, very seamless. You just go on the menu, search for it, scroll up and down, just like you do on any website or an app and make your purchase, add it to the cart, and now you can also make the payment as well on WhatsApp. One of the new features which we have launched is a number four templates which we have launched, and this is to enable, again, very, very rich experience uh, which you can have on uh, WhatsApp. The first one, which is the favorite one for everyone, every business, Every time there is a new festival or season comes in, you just offer sale, you have discount coupons, and every user jumps up on it. So now you no longer have to remember, okay, buy new is the new coupon code, which I have to go and use it on their website. You just tap on it, it copies the code, and you can use on it. Or you can have an option where you just say that start shopping, and it will be auto-applied when you start shopping. The second one is the carousal. 
Now there are people who may be coming from the ad and they have seen a category which is a healthy food category and you want to show every healthy food or maybe most commonly sold healthy food items. So there is a carousal which is there, you can show those and it's easy to scroll, I don't have to go through the list of all the SKUs which are present and make it easier for a customer to navigate. Most famous, uh, most interesting one and my favorite one is the countdown timer. Just create a FOMO. You have this discount, but it's limited for five minutes. So once this countdown ticker ends, that's when the code is gone. So no longer you have a 30% or a buy one get one offer which is available. And the last one is the reminder. For example, you, you think that the customers might not be at the right time and they might want to come back to you again. You can actually give them an option that, hey, I had a buy one offer, buy one get one, because I'm going in a meeting, I want to get reminded about it maybe at 6 p.m. when I'm free or when I'm going in my cab. So it will give you a reminder and you will be able to just go back to that same journey and avail the same coupon code. Flows. That's another feature which we have launched very, very recently in this half. Uh, so what happens is generally when you create any flows, lead generation, or you create any journey, what tends to happen before this flow got launched? People send the browser links, web links, or their uh, website links and take the customer outside of the WhatsApp experience, which is a very broken journey. But now with the help of WhatsApp flow, you can actually use some of the components which exist in WhatsApp flows and create different use cases and journeys within WhatsApp. So the customer does not need to leave that WhatsApp channel and they can experience everything in a very, very flawless manner. These are some of the use cases which you can use. For example, lead generation, appointment booking, support. I'll show you one example, which is from Policy Bazaar. They used it very, very efficiently for lead generation. What they did is, Okay, it's not playing. Okay, so I'll just peek through it. The video is not playing. Uh, what happens in this case is they build a flow and they got one screen after the other. So for example, I want to buy a policy from them. They need certain kind of information. Once they get, need the information and get this information, they can suggest you what insurance plan or what policies you can buy. So all those windows will come in within the WhatsApp. And you don't need to have a chat flow, but those are windows which are coming within WhatsApp. Similarly, Apollo 24-7, what they have done is, basically you, you want a diagnosis or a test or a lab test which needs to be done. They will take all your information and you can search for the, any type of labs. For example, you want to get a diabetes test done. So there's a search bar which they have given in this flow where you just write diabetes and all the diabetes related tests which you have, they will give you an option to see that, select one of the options, add to the cart, make the payment and that's it. You can book your diabetes test just on WhatsApp within this whole flow. One of the very, very good use cases for the commerce experience and to reduce any kind of churn is payments. What we generally see Okay, a lot of businesses are already using WhatsApp to convert the users into a customer. And once I select a product, what I generally get is, hey, you have a razor pay link, go and click on this and just pay. Now that is a poor experience for me. I might click, I might get dropped off in between, you might not know. There is an error, you might not know. So there is a lot of chances of a drop off and a poor experience which can exist. And users don't even see that if I have bought a Puma shoes on it, I have made a payment on a razor pay. Next time when I come on the same board, I don't know because there is no history there. So what WhatsApp has done, they have introduced WhatsApp pay. With this WhatsApp pay option, you no longer have to give those links. You can just opt for WhatsApp pay, make your payment within WhatsApp and increase the chances of conversions of that user. In case 
you want to increase the reach also. So there is a home page for payments. So if you go to your WhatsApp on settings, there is a payments home page. If you have already made a payment through WhatsApp pay for one business, it will directly come on your screen on payments home page. So there as of now, nobody saves any businesses number. I don't save Puma's number. I don't save Nike's number. I don't save any businesses or Kirana store's number. But the best way to get discovered and a customer to find you again is if you have already integrated WhatsApp pay and somebody has already made a payment, they can go and find you in the payments home page. And if there are not enough payments which have been done, so you will find some of the brands or businesses who have integrated with WhatsApp and you will see them as an option on the payments home page. This is a very good example where Delhi Metro has not just used payments, but they have used flows and in-app browser. So what they have done is you just go say hi to them, the bot starts. You have to give a source station, you have to give a destination state station. You can click how many tickets you want and make a payment using WhatsApp pay all within the same WhatsApp journey. And you can do it repeatedly. Then you get a ticket which is a QR code. You go to Delhi Metro station, scan that code and that's it. No more lines and a great way and a great experience for any customer to have. We have seen that there are early adopters for WhatsApp payments and they have seen 90% conversion from conversation to payment. So if 100 customers came and talked to you, 90 of them made a payment. So that's what, that's the power of WhatsApp payment. Coming to some of the success stories. So we have a lot of brands who have been using WhatsApp payments or WhatsApp solutioning. Tata Click is one of the clients who have used it to give custom notifications to their customers or users. And what they have seen is obviously 10x ROI, which is written in bold. But what they have seen when they give a custom notifications, customers are 1.7x more likely to purchase when they are using WhatsApp. So there is a very, very high conversion probability. Bharat Petroleum. So it's it's they have used 13 regional languages and that's the main problem in India, right? So if you want to reach mass, you don't just have to use Hindi and English. You have to speak in their regional language so that they can understand you, they can actually get converted. So they have used 13 languages. They were able to generate 12,000 more leads uh, from different businesses. Policy Bazaar, they saw 5x growth in their insurance premiums. What they were doing, not just selling those premiums and reminders, they were cross-selling their products, they were retargeting some of their clients. For example, if it has expired or it's time for you to renew it, so they can send you notifications. And now you can pay those uh, or pay those premiums, pay those or renew those over WhatsApp itself. So they saw 5x growth through this uh, medium. SBI General Insurance, uh, they saw 11% renewals coming from WhatsApp business uh, platform. So if you see the screen, it's very, very simple screen where they have created those list messages and you can go and browse this whole journey and proceed and that's it. You don't need to leave this platform at all. And it enables a very quick payments from the customers. Cars24, uh, as we all know, that's one of the startups, they used it uh, to increase or get a 30% month-on-month sales or the number of cars delivered uh, from any of the customers on this platform. One good thing which they have done is they also automated some of those journeys which could have been done. Otherwise, if you go to Cars24, everything is very manual. You just call them up and there is a whole lot of conversations. They come to your home or you want to go there and make a purchase or make a payment. But through this, it is very, very automated. Even they save time as well when they build this bot. Uh, BMC, they provide a seamless experience to the citizens in case of, and they build a My BMC chatbot on WhatsApp. 
they had 1 million plus interaction in the first two days. So imagine if you have to do these conversations through a phone, through a BPO or through any other medium. It is possible through WhatsApp because it's automated and half a billion people already use it and they have it installed on their phones. Uh, Oto is a very good example for click to WhatsApp ads. So they started running click to WhatsApp ads on Facebook and Instagram platform. As you can see the ad on there. So the ad is to get a loan on the bike. Uh, they take, once you click on the ad, you go to Oto's WhatsApp page. Once you go to Oto's WhatsApp page, you can apply for the loan. There is a simple form which you need to fill. Once you fill that form, you'll get a call and that's it. And that's how easy it is to get a loan from there. Car and bike is another example for click to WhatsApp starting journey. So they were actually trying to increase uh, their supply. And what they did is they ran a click to WhatsApp ad. They got 2x higher lead conversion with ads that click to WhatsApp. They built the whole journey on WhatsApp and people used to come instead give their details i have this car this brand this color this year which i have bought in and then you book an appointment people come to your home inspect it and that's it so that was a simple journey which car and bike build on it here originals my personal favorite uh, so what they do is they they make hair extensions they ran click to whatsapp ads not to generate leads not to make the product sell but to give demos we don't know how to use the hair extension that's a new product so what they thought is i want to get audience show them how to use it target the right audience segment and then increase my sale so they use this platform to book demos give them demos and then what they saw is 52 percent reduction in lead cost with click to whatsapp as as compared to any other ad types that's about it uh, i hope it was useful for you guys to uh, hear about the session any questions do, do we take the questions uh, thank you for the insight so uh, one of the biggest problem uh, we face as an enterprise is uh, you know customers blocking you uh, because sometimes you know it's not in your hand and they are busy um, they have other things to do and priorities get changed right and because of that uh, they also sometimes take it to other social media channels and post it which works as a negative for a brand so what are the solutions meta has for this and is there an integration where uh, you know the brands can use some of the tools like air or vr to basically uh, reduce this challenge so, two two way answer to your question and trust me it's one of the biggest thing which every brands usually ask us so two way answer right so one what the brand can do and second what meta is doing so what brands can do a always take a opt-in if you have taken an opt-in last diwali please don't send message to the same customer this diwali uh, it should be a conversation and a session which is a continued session uh, if you want to reach out to them if it is user initiated you will not be getting blocked but if you are initiating those messages please make sure that you have taken an opt-in. Second thing, which is a guideline is basically always try to see what the customer wants. For example, if you are sending them messages in a week every day and they're not responding, that's now how they are going to respond even in the next week. So limit and see who all are responding and then try to send those marketing messages or any other type of messages which are available. That's what a brand can do. From Meta's perspective, there are a lot of uh, efforts which are getting into motion uh, to ensure that spam, which we say, we are not spamming the customers. And it becomes a very, very relevant, it remains a relevant medium and the open rates are always high. So there are different steps and strategies which we are doing internally. Uh, those will be announced probably to the BSPs and the tech providers, how we can work on it and to the businesses as well in next hour. But from the brands end, please make sure that you don't go ahead because it's a wastage of money for everyone, right? 
the customer is not replying for you uh, for a week or they might have connected you last Diwali doesn't mean that they are going to buy again in this Diwali and you are connecting them after one year. So make sure your frequency is monitored and the content which you are sharing with them is very very useful for them. Uh, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Yeah, uh, that actually leads me to the next question because we have tried few of the um, you know creators economy approach you know get connected with some of the nano and mega influencers and create very customized message gave it to them they actually flooded it on social media and through whatsapp as well because most of them are actually using whatsapp for business so how do you control that because sometimes uh, the discount that we directly give them they you know add five or ten percent on top of that and then send it to the customer which we don't have any control and we try to reach out to meta but there is no uh, you know respond from meta side so if any of you can actually give a you know direction how that can be customized that would be great help so we can connect offline on this like okay because this is a very very specific use case which you're talking about right we can definitely connect and see what we can do the best but in general again for this use case we can connect but in general the guidelines remain the same and not only the businesses meta is also thinking about it that's what i wanted to highlight in bold so there will be steps which will be taken from our end to ensure that the conversations remain relevant on whatsapp yeah if there's there could be a seamless integration between the instagram and your whatsapp that would be great help because that is what actually creating a bit of negativity we can uh, connect we yeah, can connect yeah, thank you <laughs> yeah hi i just want to check on one thing there are two parts to the customer journey one is you know let's say we put a put an ad and it brings a person onto whatsapp let's say the other part is the post uh, sale experience let's say so i just saw something here where you showcased uh, what looked like a payment gateway let's say so can i put that payment gateway on my website and then take the journey forward where i can inform the customer about let's say the progress of his order the delivery systems which work behind the scenes and provide that information use it as, uh, just from the perspective of a payment gateway yeah so that is a whatsapp payment uh, which you have seen the example even in delhi metro and one other example uh, on whatsapp payment that you can integrate only on whatsapp so there are different whatsapp pay apis which are open and you can make within whatsapp pay you can integrate upi credit card debit card it cannot be done on a website it has to be done on uh, whatsapp if that is the question so i can't lead a customer let's say he clicks on a button which says pay now on the website correct and he gets pushed on to this particular piece where he pays through whatsapp so you have to he has to send a so that could be a whatsapp.me link so for example you have a brand xyz and that brand's whatsapp page or whatsapp handle will open but then as a next step you have to give that payment option to them it can't be the first step because there are no whatsapp pay templates okay yeah. it it can be the second step all right okay thanks hi ekta this is gaurav uh, from compliance calendar we are uh, using whatsapp through phrase works right now and one of the problem we are facing right now is uh, is it possible to block someone who keeps sending us you know promotional messages from the business point of view so Be the business your business is getting messages from the customer yeah, yeah and sometimes you know there are people who keep sending you random messages and yeah, sometimes yeah. it becomes too traumatic for sales people to navigate through all those communications you know you can do that through the whatsapp business platform that's like a very uh, small thing you can block the user. so i can contact a phrase works and they told me no there is no way we can do that you I can mean, do that you okay. can do that like we can check with my operator also if they, they okay. are able to help you yeah. because they are also the tech providers but you can do that okay thank you so much yeah we take one last question hello hi this is gaurav here <coughs> Uh, can you uh, give more details about the cart option that you were showing on the commerce part? 
Is it like WhatsApp does provide those APIs to hold those cards, or how that journey yes. is done? So you can. Uh, so there are car, there are APIs, and this is the API feature itself, where you can actually build the whole cart. Uh, you can add the products. You can show the SKUs, prices. You can give an option to add to cart and then do the final payment as well. So that is there are two two ways to do is one is the multi product messages and one is the catalog. So you can build the whole catalog and the third one which has now come is the carousel template as well. So these are three ways in which you can showcase a product for a commerce journey. So is it like my primary commerce site is at some place where I can integrate in addition to that the WhatsApp through the APIs to manage the entire product life cycle? Yeah, so there is a way in which you have to bring those products on uh, the WhatsApp catalog. We But can, they need to be on WhatsApp platform. Uh, it needs to be on the Facebook catalog, Facebook manager, okay. business manager, and then you can take it on the WhatsApp catalog. Uh, I like we can share more details offline, but. You need to maintain a different catalog on the Facebook. Business. Okay, I, I need to understand better about the synchronization part. How exactly that can Got be it. done? Got But it. But yeah, I appreciate this. Thank you.